Elimination of the Illinois State Fair Colts Stakes for three-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. Let's meet the starters. Number one, Randolph Duke is owned by Chili Day Stables of Carrollton, trained by Leo Grummel. Brent Holland is in the bike. Number two, Fox Valley Devious, owned by Sierra Stable, by Neil Silverman of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and Marsha Calfin of Ann Arbor, Michigan, trained by Tom Harmer. Tony Morgan is up. Number three, LB Society Prince, owned by Kenneth Buck of Denison, Iowa, trained by Rick Schrock. Mike Osting will drive. Number four, Seahorse, owned by Sport and Life Racing Stable of Maywood, trained by Jim Eaton. Andy Miller is the driver. Number five, LT's Wind Dancer, owned by Larry Finn and Trudy Beaver of Newton, trained by Larry Finn. The driver is Fred Finn, Jr. Number six, Rough It Up, owned and trained by Buzz Graham of Salem, Dale Heitman in the bike. Number seven, Extreme Sport, owned by HBH Standard Breads Incorporated of Warrenville, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. And number eight, No Hassle, owned by Les Banks of Sheridan, by Bruce Johnson of Chicago, trained by Jim Banks, the driver, Dave McGee. Post time, four minutes away. They're at the post, gates rolling, and here they come for race 13. They're off and pacing. No hassle grabs the racetrack. Rough it up is there along with Seahorse, and Randolph Duke kicks in down toward the inside. There goes Randolph Duke scooting up the rail, but no hassle is too quick, and he's cleared all of that inside traffic after the opening eighth of a mile. No hassle against the rail, leads it by a length and a half. Randolph Duke is second by two. Seahorse is third. LB Society Prince goes fourth. Rough it up is racing fifth. The opening quarter, 25 and one. That's the fastest opening quarter we've seen this weekend and possibly the second fastest opening quarter in Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes history. No hassle is on the lead by a length and Dave McGee is leaning back in the race bike trying to get that pacer to rate his speed. McGee looks over his shoulder and he sees Randolph Duke one length away in the second position. Another length and a half to Seahorse, then LB Society Prince, the half in 53 and 1. Headed to the far turn, no hassle, leads Randolph Duke, Seahorse, LB Society Prince, rough it up to the outside from fifth, Fox Valley Devious Racing in sixth, Extreme Sport is seventh, he's seven lengths off the lead, a gap of four more to LT's Wind Dancer, who's last, midway on the final turn. No hassle leads, here comes rough it up, and rough it up, ranges up alongside of the leader in the second position, Randolph Duke is locked in tight. He's got no place to go. 122 and 3 was the time for the three quarters. Here comes Fox Valley Devious into contention. Fourth. They're moving off the final turn. Seahorses buried toward the rail. Eighth of a mile to come for no hassle. Randolph Duke desperately needs an open lane. Holland straight back in the race bike. Here's Fox Valley Devious. Fox Valley Devious mowing them down. Fox Valley Devious comes forward in the closing strides. Fox Valley Devious wins it by nearly three. Randolph Duke came bursting through an opening in the final strides for second, close for third, either rough it up or no hassle in 150 flat. Into the winner's circle for race 13, here's number two, Fox Valley Devious, Tony Morgan with the winning drive. Sierra Stable of the greater Chicago area, Neil Silverman of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and Ann Arbor, Michigan's Marsha Calvin owned this Sportsmaster gelding. 150 flat, fastest mile so far of the state fair meet. Tony Morgan's going to be kind enough to join us in the winner's circle for a quick word. Tony, come on up. Told you that once again, Tony has been slugging it out for the title of leading dash winning driver in North America. He leads the driver standings right now at both Maywood Park and Balmoral in Chicago. 150 for this gelding. Tony, he just kind of started to make a nice steady move on the outside. Did you ever have any doubt he was going to get there? 
No, not really. I, once I got the last turn and caught a little cover, I, I was pretty confident. Yeah, when he straightened away down the stretch, I was kind of shocked at how he just kicked in and came on home in 150 flat. We talked to a couple of your colleagues about the fact this is one of the busiest weeks of the year between driving in Chicago and driving here. Daytime here, nighttime in Chicago. Race car drivers say sometimes more activity makes them sharper at what they do. Is it the same for you guys? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. That pretty well covers it. Tony is a native of Ohio, correct? Yes. And he is now a member of our driving colony in Illinois, and he has been for several years. Tony, thanks for being with us. Congratulations. Yep. See you later. Tony Morgan.